Hello, uh, thank you for stopping by. Listen, we, we have another uh, interesting trading day this morning and I found myself uh, laughing because it worked out. <laughs> Number one, uh, I ended up having a, a, a few good trades and uh, because I wasn't expecting a large move dealing with the non-farm payroll coming out tomorrow, uh, 8.30 Eastern Standard Time, I wanted to make sure I played it safe. So I lowered my lot size and I trade within a range, so to speak. Now, you know, we over here at Take Two Capital, we we are following the the, the premise that uh, when the triple arrows form, we then look at a larger time frame, normally one or two time frames higher, and see if there's any confluence, if there's confirmation. Um, basically, I, I had reason to believe that, just like you see on the screen, the dollar yen, we had triples form early this morning, and I believe because we were going in a uptrend, we were bullish for the past few days, I knew we needed to have some type of breather. We needed to uh, relieve this this bullish momentum. All right. So my bias was just based off experience and looking at the pattern over the past few days. And uh, I've seen this pattern actually before when we had some weird situation take place. Next thing you know, the markets are acting funny. What was really weird is I saw a number of pairs acting pretty funny. It, it just, oh, you have to see it for yourself. Uh, but anyway, so got in on the uh, triples on the 15 minute time frame, took, took the risk. Um, I normally do two positions and I'll have one be a runner, uh, which I'll go for a certain amount of pips on one position and run on the other from, from big arrow to big arrow. But I can't do that now. Uh, because non-farm payroll is coming out, so I refuse to be in a trade uh, one longer than a few hours. Bottom line, wherever I am, I'm out. And I'll do that until I see the markets go back to normal or that there is a larger range in between, uh, you know, the top to bottom. I, I just That's just my preference. So here we are with the triple arrows. It came in. I got, I got in around that time. And it's a very simplistic trading strategy that works time and time again you will have losses but yet my wins tends to tend to overshadow the losses and i'm excited about it i mean i've been doing this for a while now it's like wow i'm making money <laughs> anyway let me stop playing around uh however making money is not a joke because at a time where so many people are without employment they they're, they're, they're relying on the government it's just it's a lot man I'm just trying to figure out how can we survive and those who know how to trade are surviving they're making their money you just got to be consistent at whatever strategy you choose if you already back tested and saw that it has a, a, a great or a good enough win-loss ratio you just have to be consistent in order for you to take profits using that strategy uh, however if you can't get in at the right time you're missing opportunities left and right because of time of day uh, you have a day job, you are away from the computer, whatever the case may be. This is where you need a visual, okay? Um, I was not a, a proponent of indicators before I came across the triple arrow system. I did not like using it. I, I tend to um, you know, avoid indicators like the plague. It just seemed like somebody created another little, little tool that they say can help you and it really doesn't do squat. You know, people are charging thousands of dollars for this mess and they don't give you no real instruction. They say they're helping you and they're not. I, I've been there. I've done it. Let me be absolutely clear, clear with you. This is why there's so much money being pushed around in, in the Forex market. It's because people are getting over on others. All right. The, the kicker comes in. And I say that a lot. The kicker comes in <laughs> where you have a, uh, a strategy that has been proven. Then it's no longer on the person who created the indicator or on the indicator itself is now on you. To make money with that strategy and a lot of people do not talk about this but the psychology behind staying in a trade letting your wins run and getting out of a losing trade soon enough you know don't let them things sit here and keep on going you get your butt out you know that's the premise that you would need to be profitable in the market don't go into this thing thinking you're going to win every single trade that will never happen okay what will what will happen what is guaranteed is that you're going to have a loss so what you want to do is maintain a proper risk reward. You want to um, be aggressive when you can be aggressive. So that means after experience coming into play of you seeing the market, seeing what's going on, seeing how you can take trades, then you will know 
you definitely will know at that point when you need to increase your lot size move from there all right i say all that to say here is the dollar yen produced very well for me today all right but it didn't move that that far as you can see we're talking about 31 pips it didn't move that far but based on my strategy i still was able to profit very nice today okay i'm gonna leave it like that I'm not saying any dollars you know everyone's account balance is different so you you base that on where you can see yourself getting into the market i showed you the entry this is my entry and this is where i got out it worked out without a hitch now there was some weirdness going on let me be clear with you i was a little a little shaky sitting in this thing and like see what is all this what is all this but because i've seen the pattern so often you see what i'm saying you see this point here do you see this point here do you see this point i've seen this pattern often okay and then when triples came in it confirmed what i was already thinking then when we crossed the 50 it already confirmed here is my full hour it, it crossed it broke the full hour you know so i'm so so we clear these dots are a trend you know so it broke support and what normally becomes uh what normally is support usually become resistant and as you can see it broke it did not come back through which was further confirmation to stay in the trade you understand so long as long as we clear on that this is why i took this trading 15 minute time frame very good opportunity here and there are others in, in the market that i've also taken that worked out but this one right here was most important so you understand that this happens time and time together uh time and time again and just so we're clear throughout a a, a period where our uh, uh united states here is in uproar we have a number of different things going on we have the COVID 19 still in effect scaring everybody <laughs> Uh, we're still able to find opportunities in the forex market. We're still bringing profits home to our family so we can still eat. You, you see what I'm saying? And we're not relying just on the government. Appreciate what they're doing. But this do not require you to go out the door and find people to help build your business. This is solely you sitting in front of a chart, I, uh, properly anal uh, analyzing the chart and moving from there all right so i'm trying to give it to you raw here this is something that we should be working on on a regular basis meaning you need to be identifying trends highs and lows support and resistance uh you need to be identifying what makes a certain pair move okay not just going through 12 pairs and, and figuring out if you got an entry or not no no if you're new to, to the forex market you need to only focus on one currency pair all right you might have three in, in in the back burner but you're focusing on one currency pair so that means every time that thing produce a entry you're there every time you see the market do something crazy that you wasn't aware of you're there so you can take notes you can properly uh identify what's going on and it just so happens you might want to pay attention to the fundamentals you might want to look at the news and see how that pair correlates with the news what normally happens what happened in the past so once you get used to the pair then you can move forward and say well you know what i'll trade another pair uh along with this one but you know what i'm going to do whenever i see a signal on this particular pair i'm taking it and i'm getting in once you get past 40 50 trades in that pair then i would suggest that's when you can get aggressive you see what i'm saying because now you already know how you trade with that pair how you move forward uh moving from day to day uh, when you get off of work or when you get up early in the morning, you know how that pair normally operates. And there's some times, just like this week, where it, a lot of the pairs did not act normally. But what's going to end up happening is it's going to get back to a level of normalcy. And that's when you miss the opportunity because you're not focusing on that pair. Focus on that one pair. Let's get going. Once you get past that, focus on another pair. 50, 50 some odd trades later, focus on another pair. Uh, you don't need all these different pairs in the first place. It's just sometimes opportunities present itself and pairs look favor more favorable than the other. But other than that, you can win just with one pair. Trust me, I, we know people in our trading group who trade with uh, one pair. They trade one, maybe two times a week. And we're talking about making thousands of dollars a week. And they're only doing it with one trading pair. I just want to be clear with you 
this right here. You don't have to trade more than one pair to be profitable. If you know that your strategy work is sound and you and you're in control of your uh, you're in control of your own emotions, you can win here. Take time out, focus on the pair, and let's get these pips. I'll see you guys later.